Hello everyone, welcome to Brainbox Notion. In today's video, I'm going to share with you two tips to streamline your quantity takeoff. So let's dive in. One of the first tool is the TimeSwift Auto Count feature. A lot of people use the Auto Count feature by searching here. When you search Auto Count, you can see here we have the Auto Count. So when you click, you can see the Auto Count will display for you to count your patents or any other item. So what you can do is if you want to display this auto count because it is very, very helpful and useful uh, in terms of speed, if you want to increase your speed while doing your counting your fittings or any other item. So what you can do to display this auto count feature, just like the way you have your count segment linear and area here is just go to your settings. Here you can see we have settings. When you go to settings, you go to interface under settings. So under interface under setting, you see that here we have your auto count tool. So the moment you click on this, when you go back to your home, you can see I have my auto count being displayed here. So the moment you click on your auto count, you can see I have my auto count. So also under the auto count, you can create uh, what we call library here. It can serve as your mini template whereby you don't need to rename each count. So when you go to your library, you can see that we have some uh, predefined counts. Here we have the electrical plan. We have the hot duplex outlet, the, out, the TV outlet, the firelight, the scan spot, fan spot, the floor outlet, and so on. So you can easily add and omit this library. So the moment you add this library, it will serve as your template whereby whenever you want to perform any auto count, you don't need to be rewriting the names. So with this library, it will save you a lot of time for typing and also it will save you a lot of time for counting. So I recommend you to use this auto count feature in PlanSwift. It is very useful and also it saves time. So the next is a lot of people don't know how to take off for curve in PlanSwift. Let's say here we have a curve here. So how do you take off for this curve? Maybe this is a wall area you want to take off for and you have this curve. How do you take off for this curve? So before you do anything, uh, like you already know, you have to scale your page. So this page is not scaled. So let me just pick a random scale and scale this page. So I'll assume from this point to this point to be, let me just measure. Or let's use the design scale. Let's see if we have a predefined scale here. No scale specified. No scale specified. So let's just assume and measure. Let's assume from this point to this point is two meters. So I will just click on my scale. Go to this, two meters. Click OK. From this point to this point. So my page is scaled now. So what I want to do here is to measure this curve here. This curve here, this curve right here. That's what I want to measure. So in PlanSwift, you have the ability to measure curve, not necessary. Uh, most people usually measure curve like this. Uh, let me switch to point mode. They measure curve like this. So you can see the time I'm taking to actually measure this area. So this is actually taking my time to measure. You can see, so this is the end. So people usually measure curve like this. You can see this is the area. We usually, but there's an alternative given by PlanSuit for you to measure this curve, which is more efficient and more faster. So let me show you how. So the moment you click on this area, let's give it a name, say, arc. So the moment I click OK, let me turn off this. So what you need to do is just to press A. So the moment I press A, you can see it click middle point of arc. So I can click here. You can see. But this is not what I want to do. 
This is if you want to measure up like a cycle, but this is not what I want to do. So I'll click on stop. I'll also click. So at the moment I click a point, then I click on A. So the next, I click this point. You can see, this is my curve. You see, this is my curve. So I'll click OK, and then stop. So here you can see I have a little shift, so you can easily move. Yes. So this is how to measure curve using plan shift. So that is all for this video. Make sure you subscribe and follow for more tips on how to streamline your takeoff and also make your work faster. Thank you.